Hey everybody, welcome to Cameras and Cats. Today we are in Paris, France, and it's Halloween, which is my favorite day of the year. And I wanted to show you all the cameras I brought on my trip to France and Italy. And I wanted to tell you why I brought each one, so stay tuned. So as you can see, I have quite an extensive collection with me. This is just what I bring when I travel. I have a lot more at home, but this is what I decided to bring on this trip specifically. I have my Holga GCFN, my Polaroid 1-Step 600, my Polaroid LAN camera, my Canon 5D Mark IV, my Minolta Maxim STSI, my Kodak Brownie Hawkeye, my Instax Square SQ10, and my, and my Canon Rebel K2. And oops. Come on. So now I'm gonna tell you about each one and why I brought it. So first, I have the Holga, which if you follow me, you know this is my favorite camera of all time. This is the only camera that comes with me on every single trip, no matter what. It's a 120 film camera, and I shoot the square shots, and I'll show you some of the photos I've taken from my trip so far. And so yeah, I love this camera. And then when it comes to Polaroids, it's always really hard, but I usually end up bringing these two. This is a Polaroid One Step 600 film. And I usually alternate between these two cameras. So one day I'll bring this one with me in my backpack while we're out and about, and then the next day I'll bring this one. I wish I could bring them all with me every day when I go out, but I can never carry all of these. Obviously this is like a lot to lug around. Um, it's kind of a miracle I even got them all here. So this one's really fun, and I'll show you some pictures from this camera too from our trip. And this was my step grandpa's camera. I love this camera so much, but I only have a few boxes of film left and I've done a review of this camera, so make sure to check out that video. But I only have, I think like maybe four boxes left of this film. So I bring it whenever I travel to like Europe or um, whenever we leave the country because I try to save them for special occasions. So I definitely brought this one with me for that. And then of course we have the Canon 5D Mark IV and this thing is the heaviest camera I have. So a lot of days it ends up staying in the room, which is really annoying. Like yesterday we went to Versailles and I left it in the room because I was like, I can't carry this around for like eight hours while we're walking around. But then I regretted not bringing it because it was beautiful. The sun was setting. It was like the most magical pictures and none of my cameras really work in low light. So that was kind of annoying. Um, so in the future, I just need to make sure to just bring this in my bag and suffer and carry all that weight. And then this is one of my newer cameras I've added to my travel collection, the Kodak Brownie Hawkeye. I just love how like dreamy and like foggy these photos look. It's kind of similar to the Holga, but almost like even older looking. And so I'm kind of in, heading in that direction where I actually like film photos that look older and like more foggy and messed up. So this, I'm really excited to see how these photos turn out. So yes, there's this one. And then I brought this camera, the Instax SQ10. But I haven't used this camera once on this trip, so I should have just left this one at home. I already have these two Polaroids. But this one, you can take as many as you want and then print them later, which is a really cool feature. But I just didn't end up needing it and, you know, like I can't carry that many cameras every day, so it just has stayed in the room every single day. So next time I won't be bringing this one. And then in terms of 35 millimeter, I ended up bringing two different cameras. I was just gonna bring one, but I had this idea in my head that I wanted to bring this one, the Canon Rebel K2, because when I first visited Paris in 2010, this was my first film camera I ever had and I brought this camera with me. So I kind of wanted to like recreate those photos, so I brought this one. It's not like a great camera or anything like that, but it has a lot of different features you can use. And I just have like a special connection to this camera, so I brought this one. And then the second 35mm film camera I brought is this one, which is my newest one I have and it is the Minolta Maxim STSI. And this camera is really super cool. I'm excited to see how my photos turn out because I've only done one roll on this camera so far. It has a panorama mode, which is really exciting because I usually end up bringing another camera, which is a panorama camera, which just is another camera I have to bring. So this one kind of cancels out one more camera that I don't need to bring because it does 
regular 35 millimeter frames and the panorama frames and you can just switch between it on a roll. It also does double exposures, it has a zoom lens, it has a flash, so it kind of has all the things I really love in a travel camera. In a typical situation, I would have only brought this one 35 millimeter camera and I would have left these two at home. So next time, I'll probably try to stick to this collection here. Um, it's just way too many cameras to bring on every trip, but also my sister got married in Italy on this trip, so I wanted to make sure I had like my full collection and everything I would need to cover all of that. So, and over here is my pile of junk. It looks like garbage, but this is my pile of secret filters and things to make my photos more interesting. So I don't want to tell you too much about it because those are my secrets and there's, you know, like I don't want to give away all the stuff that I do, um, but anyway, you can, whatever I'll look and see this is literally my pile of trash and it's kind of embarrassing because I'll pull it out of my bag and people are like what in the world are you doing that looks like garbage but it's not to me it makes really cool photos so anyway so I hope all these photos turn out because I've been through like a million x-ray machines basically every single gallery or like place we go to on this trip has had x-ray machines that they didn't used to have so basically all of my film has gone through like way too many x-rays and from what I've read online, like it should be fine because I'm using like a lower ISO film. So hopefully everything turns out. We'll see. I'll be really devastated if it doesn't. So here's my collection. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and be nice. And you can follow me on Instagram at MilesCatherine, at the Traveling Holga, or at Cameras and Cats. And you can find me on Patreon, patreon.com slash MilesCatherine. You get access to exclusive photos and you get some treats if you sign up for the tiers. So... Yeah, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye. <coughs> now you stressed me out. I can't breathe in this room. It's very stuffy. Oh, wait. I forgot to tilt them into Halloween. Unreal. Like, can they push any more buttons? So now we're gonna go out and we're gonna have our last day in Paris and today we decided to do a best of day. So we're gonna have the best croissant, the best macaroon, the best coffee, and the best gelato, and the best cheese, and the best wine. And we're gonna try to squeeze it all into one day and we're gonna be really stuffed. And so, let's go. I'm kinda gonna throw up. I'm probably gonna vomit. We're gonna go to a Halloween party too, somehow. Yeah, I don't know how we're gonna do that. I have to buy socks. Okay, so let's go.